What is the secret thing about Lorraine Brossois? Well, is, is it Lorraine or been, Laurent? Laurent Brossois. I've been, I've, been, uh, I've been rooting for Brossois all these years. I know. Of course, I been, tracked him from the Oil yeah. Kings days. But I think the secret good thing about him today is that his contract is up. <laughs> and that he is a group six free agent, meaning that even though he's only 25 years old, because he didn't get his 28 NHL games um, that you need of 30 plus minutes each, uh, because he didn't get quite to that threshold, he can walk. And he's going to walk the same way that Tyler Pitlick and uh, Jordan Osterby walked last year, both as 25-year-old group six free agents. And I wish him all the best. He needs what Craig McTavish used to call the second opinion. Yeah, I mean, Pitlick and Osterley, I would have preferred both of them stay with the organization, yes. especially Pitlick. Mm -hmm. I, I don't get that. Even even the three years that uh, that he got in Dallas, I mean, that low kind of cap hit, um, it's not a significant issue to sign a player, right. especially one who showed as much as Pitlick did with the Oilers uh, and the Oilers' needs on the wing with Brissois again. Um, I'm not sad to see him go. He was uh, kind of historically bad. He was JDD bad for the Oilers last year, Bruce. Yeah, he and had he's the kind of goalie, if he had played more, the Oilers would have been drafting first in the draft this year. He was that weak in the net. So, uh, and I don't need to crap all over <laughs> but that's how bad his performance was. Anyway, but here's my secret good thing. He's young enough, yep. and he has shown enough in the past, at both at the minor league level and at the NHL level in one season, the, the previous season when he had a good save percentage, and that, which is why he got that opportunity last year. He has shown enough to think, uh, in terms of his size, his tools, his record, that there could be an uh, NHL goalie there. Definitely it could be a KHL goalie there. He might even Tim Thomas it one day, Bruce, and come over mm -hmm. to the NHL and surprise everybody when he's 35. Well, goaltending is voodoo, as we all know. And, and that's, I mean, what he has to work on, to me, is uh, some of the more subtle things that you see from veteran goalies, rebound control, and I think just more generally calming down a little bit when he's in the net. Like, I think he was just so hyper when he played because he got the chances so rarely that uh, uh, everything kind of, you know, got blown up to be uh, anyway, that, that's, a, that's a, a, trying to read psychology and body language from, from my coach, so it's probably not very accurate, but that was the sense I got.